hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the microwave tubes and what are the classifications of microwave tubes in the microwave communications so microwave tube what do you mean by a tube tube is nothing but either amplifier or an oscillator but here as it is working at the microwave frequencies it is known as microwave tube okay normally in the uh, normal analog or digital communications uh, where the low frequency applications are used there we have used either bjt amplifier or fet amplifier there such type of devices are also known as tubes okay somewhat at a higher frequencies like very high frequency and nearer to this ultra high frequency they also we have used uh, some triodes and uh, tetrodes pentodes but when we are going to the higher levels of frequencies like a gigahertz of frequencies then definitely we should go for this microwave tubes okay so microwave tube is nothing but microwave tube is nothing but an amplifier an amplifier or an oscillator an amplifier or an oscillator okay so microwave tube is nothing but it is an amplifier or an oscillator the principle of the principle of operation of microwave tube is to transfer the power from the power from a source of dc voltage to another source of DC voltage by means of by means of current density modulated electron beam modulated electron beam okay so what do you mean by this micro tube micro tube is nothing but either amplifier or an oscillator which is uh, working at microwave frequencies where the frequency of oscillations are in the order of gigahertz the principle of operation of this microwave tube is to transfer the power from one dc source to another dc source by means of current density modulated electron beam here the current density modulated electron beam is also named as a velocity modulation this is the achieved by the process of velocity modulation okay so this can be achieved this can be achieved by the process of velocity modulation by the process of velocity modulation remember this word velocity modulation velocity modulation is nothing but change of velocity of the electron when it is traveling from one place to another place okay normally when there is no external supply electron travels with constant velocity from input to the output port okay but whereas when we are uh, in during this journey of the electron from input to the output port if we are um, producing if you are giving any external supply then that because of that external supply that there is a change in the velocity of the electron that means the velocity of the electron may be increased or decreased depending upon the polarity of the applied input potential applied input voltage so that change in the velocity of the electron is nothing but velocity modulation it means 
changing the velocity of electron by the application of an external signal. by the application of an external signal. So the various types of various types of microwave tubes various types of microwave tubes that are available that are available and are different from each other available differ from each other in first one their mechanism of producing density modulation their mechanism of producing density modulation their mechanism of producing density modulation the acceleration and the acceleration and retardation of electrons in the AC field and finally the retardation of electrons the retardation of electrons in the the retardation of electrons by a shotgun by a shotgun or over an extended region extended region so these are the different types of microwave tubes that are available and differ from each other in these following the mechanism of producing density modulation the acceleration and retardation of electron in the ac field and finally the radiation of electron by the by a short gun or even an extended region even an extended region now let us see the classification of these microwave tubes okay so microwave tubes microwave tubes are classified basically into two types so one is the o type tubes which are known as the linear beam tubes okay o type tubes and linear beam tubes and second one is cross field tubes which are also known as m type tubes cross field tubes are also known as m type tubes so again o type tubes and m type tubes are again classified into klystron tubes and as well as slow wave structured tubes or slow wave tubes swts slow wave tubes so the klystrons and slow wave tubes are again further classified into three different types from the klystron and two different types from the slow wave structure so from this klystrons there are again three different types of uh, uh, amplifications or any type of oscillation that can be generated one is a two cavity klystron another one is multi cavity klystron these two becomes amplifiers and as well as reflex klystron type is acting as an oscillator reflect uh, reflection type is an oscillator okay that means the two amplifiers and one oscillator that um, that comes under the category of klystron 
and second type of this o tube tubes was a slow wave structure where two different types of uh, amplifiers and oscillators are being used one is twt and another one is bwo twt stands for traveling wave tube twt is nothing but twt i will write here twt is nothing but what do you mean by that traveling wave tube traveling wave tube what about bwo bw is nothing but backward oscillator oscillations backward oscillations next so here twt acts as amplifier and bwo acts as oscillator so twt as it is an amplifier it takes the input and produces an amplified version of the input signal but bwo whereas the backward wave traveling tube the backward wave oscilloscope where the signal can be oscillated at a particular microcontroller sorry my at a particular mic um, microwave frequencies okay in terms of gigahertz another type of classification which was a uh, cross field tubes cross field tubes where cross field tubes are also known as m type tubes okay first one is o type tubes and the second one is m type tubes so cross field tubes m type tubes are again classified into three different types three different types they are magnetron carcinotron and gyrotron so magnetron resonant type uses standing wave and uh, this uh, carnicotron which is a non resistive type non resonant type uses a forward or backward wave whereas gyrotron it uses a major effect okay so again uh, these three are acting as basically oscillators whereas the carni uh, carcinotron which can also be acting as an amplifier okay this is the broad classification of this microwave tubes this is the broad classification of this microwave tubes so very very important and easy also okay broadly they can uh, we can call it as a linear beam tubes and cross field tubes linear beam tubes also known as o type tubes and cross field tubes are also known as m type tubes magnetron type okay so this is about the classification of this microwave tubes thank you